Today we're talking about why the sky is blue. If you're outside right now, look up. What color is the sky? If it's the afternoon right now, the whole sky is probably pale blue. If it's sunset and you look directly towards the sun, the sky is probably a reddish orange color. And if it's nighttime, the sky is probably black. But that's all really an illusion. What? Yes. You see, the sky really has no color. What? Hold on a second. You could say it's blue technically. You see, it does appear blue in the daytime, and the horizon is reddish orange at sunset, and the sun is yellow. But it's all really just an illusion. <gasps> Calm down, now illusions are good. That's what makes me think I'm really so cool. Allow me to explain. You see, the sun is not even yellow. <gasps> if you keep doing this, we won't get through the video. If you flew into space, you'd see the sun as actually a beautiful white color, not yellow. The sun is actually a glowing white star that emits white light. See, the color white is an equal distribution of all colors, red, green, blue, and all the colors in between. If you put all those colors together, you will get white. Yes. Let me show you. I actually have these lights set up. I'm emitting a green light, a red light, and a blue light. I'm casting them all on the wall. And you'll see that as I turn each one on, eventually when all of them turn on, the light ends up being white. And here you can see as I turn them off, you'll see that they're all individual colors. Why does the sun appear yellow and the sky appear blue? It's because of the atmosphere, aka the sky. The invisible stuff you have floating around you that you can't see. If you were to fly up into space and look at the sun, it's white. And the reason why it looks white is because space has no atmosphere. Nothing interfering with the sun's rays. But here on Earth, we have an atmosphere. The atmosphere, or the sky, is made up of invisible gases, nitrogen, oxygen, water, and even dust particles, which all really have no color, and the human eye can't even see them. So as the sun shoots out its white color, the colors get dispersed, and they get reflected and deflected by all the particles and the gases floating in the atmosphere. Let me show you. So if you were to take a small mirror and shine direct sunlight towards it, while the mirror was submerged underwater, reflect the light onto a wall or a piece of paper, you'll see all the colors of the rainbow reflected from the sunlight. So what you have to do here is simply take a mirror, submerge it underwater, make sure that you're directly under sunlight, and reflect that light onto a wall or onto a piece of paper. Right here I actually just have a paper plate. You see all the colors there. You see around, you see the red, and you see some of the blue. Sun emits all these different colors. Now when the sun is high above us, the blue color, because of its short wavelength, gets spread out all through the sky. More than the red, because the red have longer wavelengths. And that's why the sky looks blue, especially in the afternoon. But as the Earth spins and your spot on Earth gets farther from the sun, in human terms, when the sun starts to set, the light has to travel farther from the sun to reach you. And when the light has to travel farther, the blue wavelengths actually get scattered. That's why at sunset, when you look out into the horizon, you can see the red and orange color. I'm going to show you in this little experiment, which you can also do at home. I'm going to take a flashlight with a white light, which mimics the light from the sun. I'm going to hover it over some water in a clear bowl. In that water, we're also going to pour a couple of drops of milk. The reason we do that is so that we can mimic the atmosphere. We're going to look through the bowl and you'll see a blue color. And then I'm going to move the flashlight down sideways and you'll see more of a red, yellow, orange color. So the next time you look up at the sky and notice its color, remember, it's all an illusion. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or wrap it up and throw it in your back pocket. And remember, you can go ahead and check out last week's video on why we yawn. Go ahead and click that over there. See you guys in the next video.